So we can now proceed in determining the nominal moment strike. So for the nominal moment strike, we can compute that using either of the two formulas, 0.85 FC prime AB times D minus A over 2 or ASFY times D minus A over 2. So take note, these are the same because if you recall, previously we have equated the value of 0.85 FC prime AB to ASFY. So we are sure these two equations will give the same values. So let us now substitute the value. Let's say we use the second formula, ASFY, sorry, this should be 20, times 400 times the effective depth minus A, which is 59.1358671 over 2. Okay? So we can now solve for the nominal moment strength, and that is... One hundred fifty four point seven two nine two four four eight kilonewton meter. Okay, and that is letter A. Problem two. Problem two. Which of the following most nearly gives the desired moment strength of the beams? So in determining the design moment strength, that is simply the resistance factor phi times mn. So later on, we will discuss the complete evaluation of the resistance factor. But in this case, since the net tensile strain is greater than 0 0.005, the corresponding value of phi is always 0.9. Okay, so we have 0.9 times 154 times 729-2448, 139.2563203. Okay, so this is now our design moment strength, and that is letter C. Problem 3, which of the following most nearly gives the service moment capacity of the section? If the moment due to live load is 50% is 50 larger than the moment due to dead load. So if we're going to relate the moment live load to the moment dead load, so it, it is indicated that it is 50% larger. So that is 1 plus 0 0.5 of the M sub D. So this is now the relationship of the live load and the moment dead load. For enforced concrete design, we use LRFD and then to ensure that we have a safe design, we always make sure that the demand M sub U is always less than the capacity phi times MN. So the moment demand will come from the load combination. So for this for this particular problem, we have given dead and live load. So the corresponding combination to be used is 1.2 moment sub D plus 1.6 M sub L. So we equate this to our design moment strength, which is 139.2563203. Okay, so as you can see, we now we now have the first equation and then the second equation. We have two unknowns, m sub d and m sub l. So by solving this through algebra, we can solve for m sub d and m sub l. So by the way, in solving this, we can use our calculators. We can use the function in our calculator, mode. 5 and then two unknown equation. So press 1. So we will just need to input the coefficients. The coefficient of m sub d for the second equation is 1.2. For m sub l, that is 1.6. And then the constant value is 139.2563203. And then for the 
for the first equation, the coefficient of m sub d is 1.5. Negative 1 is the coefficient of m sub l. And then the constant value is 0. Therefore, this is now the value of m sub d. And then m sub l, we just press another equals. So we have 58. 0.02346679 kilonewton meter. So for the service moment capacity, we just add m sub d and m sub l. This is now the service moment capacity, and that is equal to 38.6823119 plus 58.0234679. And that is 96, 96.705 kilonewton meter. Okay, and that is letter D.